Women's riding is thriving more than ever at the moment. Heck, my partner Amy's just got a new mountain bike and absolutely loving it. And with women's cycling exponentially rising, both in numbers and in competition, should we say, I wanted to find out what the catalyst was or is for this amazing movement. To find out and better understand why, I'm gonna be joining up with ex-pro coach and good friend, Annika Bitten, as she leads group rides and coaching sessions out here in Bensonville to help improve and better the scene. Annika, good to see you again. Now, obviously we've shredded before around here last time. If you haven't seen that video, check it out because you showed me around some pretty cool trails here. Yes, Eureka Springs. Yeah, but yeah. this time it's a little bit different, right? So I'm gonna join you on one of your coaching clinics here at the Bentonville Bike Festival. And it's an all women's affair, this one, yeah? Yes, only women. Uh, it's called Women's Shred and it's part of the Bentonville Bike Festival that we have going on this weekend. Women's mountain biking is really big here in Bentonville, not only Bentonville, but Northwest Arkansas. And so we decided to just do a women's specific clinic. Okay. Okay, and how many sort of uh, women are going to be on the group today? Um, so I have three groups throughout the, throughout the day. So I have novice, intermediate and advanced, and I take 10 women on the ride. Um, so you can sign up before, um, and I do 10 because I don't want to make the groups too big, because if I have 10, I can still individually work with everybody's okay. skill set. And let's, I want to rewind it a bit actually, yeah. because you've obviously moved out here. You're based in Bentonville now. So how has women's riding progressed? in Bentonville and the surrounding sort of Arkansas area, but, yeah. but kind of the world over as you've seen it. Oh, it's massive, you know? Like I come from racing in early 2000s and we were, there were not many of us, you know? We were kind of like odd being girls riding and <laughs> racing. And if you look now, it's so normal, and especially the, the female and the women that are riding out here, there's so many. And it's, the change has been huge over the last couple of years, you know? And I think places like this, especially Bentonville helps with that because it's really nice to get into mountain biking. You know, it's not super gnarly. You can get right super gnarly trails, as yeah. you know, but you can start at green, make your way up to blue and really get comfortable. And I think that helps a lot, having those trails out here, very inviting. And then um, we have Women of Oz. So that's it. Oh, you beat me to it. Oh, so I was just gonna okay. say about the Women yes. of Oz. So the Women of Oz, as far as I understand, because I'm not too clued up, so I'd love yeah. you to tell me a little bit more about it, is a, a non-profit group set up purely Thanks. for female riders, correct? Exactly, exactly. It's set up for, by female riders. Um, a couple of years ago, actually quite a while ago, um, their husbands were all riding and they <laughs> wanted to get into mountain biking. So they actually started setting up their own group rides and they got so many people on the ride that they actually decided to, you know, start the Women of Oz. So whereabouts is the, the Women of Oz now? What sort of stage is that? So it's obviously well established. Yeah. There are hundreds of yes. members I'm aware? Yeah, the first Saturday of every month, uh, they have a flagship ride that starts here in Bentonville and we have hundreds of women signing up. And they have all kinds of different classes from very first time mountain bikers to more advanced. Uh, they have a lot of coaches as well helping out. And then in September this year, we have the uh, Sunset Summit from the Sunset women. Sunset Summit, yes. okay. And we have the same thing, like I think over 300 uh, women that are able to sign up. And we have a bunch of coaches coming to town for that event. Um, I'll be one of them helping them out. And it's just awesome. You know, it's so great to see we have so many females out on the trails and riding. Amazing. Not only here, but everywhere. And hopefully we inspire more and more women to get out on bikes. I want to know, Annika, where do you see the future of women's cycling going? Where do you see it progressing to? I think it will keep progressing. I think more and more women are going to get into mountain biking, getting, you know, the, the 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 feel of it, the vibe of it and how awesome it is. You know, we all like we know how it feels to ride a mountain bike, to be out on the trails, to be in the outdoors. And uh, I think, too, for mental health, you know, it's so good. We're all so stressed out nowadays. Work, bosses, home life, kids, you name it. <laughs> It's the moment you get on your bike, it's so awesome, you know? Yeah. And I think that's so important too with cycling and also for females uh, to really support that. And hopefully we can keep growing that in the future. Perfect, well look, I know that we've got to get to your group ride now. Yes, so I think exactly. we better not chat anymore. And let's, uh, <laughs> let's get on out there and get I riding. Know. Less right. chatting, more yeah, riding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we're about to head on the trail and Annika is just going through a few of the basics first. Everyone's done like a nice little introduction, getting to know each other and just getting sort of nice and comfortable on their bikes. She's at the moment just showing things like the correct body position, so where you should be on the bike, your pedals, things like that, and making sure everyone knows exactly what they're doing before we head on to the proper stuff. Pedal, nice, go in, go out. 
Now's as good a time as any to practice that body position. And before dropping in, you drop that seat back down. In, in, out. Oh, nice! That was really good. Right, we've made oh it to God. the trails. Everyone looks pretty excited to hit the trails and take the skills that they learned earlier onto some proper tracks. We're doing one called Fireline. It's pretty mellow. It's got some nice berms and rollers and tables just to get warmed up for the day. <laughs> nice, so the girls are coming through again and the, Annika's laid out these cones on the floor to kind of, they're like prompts as to when to squash and pop out of the lip and compress. And they're all doing really good, look, both wheels off the ground. You know, a lot of these girls are jumping for the first time, so it's really cool to see. Yeah, I'm killing it. <laughs> How was it? It's good. Yeah? Much you, improvement. Uh... Sorry? <laughs> I said much improvement. Yeah, so how was your second run through that time? Much better. Yeah? When I see the cones though, I definitely overthink it. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, how long have you been riding for? Yeah, I've been riding like on and off for five years, okay. but I just moved here. And is it the biking that brought you here? Yes. It is? My husband's better than me though. Ah, oh, <laughs> but you guys moved here for the riding? <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, also, I don't want to hold you off anymore. Please. You get your laps in. Enjoy. <laughs> see you later. That's so cool. Though. People are like literally moving here for the mountain biking, taking part in these workshops and classes and just trying to get better. Amazing. How are the berms going? Good. Yeah, enjoying it? Yeah. Smashing it round? <laughs> nice work, you're looking good. Yeah. What's the future hold for women cycling? around here well i don't know because now they're like offering or now they're doing the world champion like cyclocross here i think is endless honestly endless i do i feel that endless. way endless endless oh, I, I mean we have there whatever article you read i feel like you'll hear about bentonville now um and it's just i feel like all the people who come here are so nice like they want to be out <laughs> and i think that's an awesome thing too they just want to be outside on their bikes and I think that is a community that is building Bittenville into a really cool place as well. And you guys are just helping facilitate that. Yes. Even better. Even better. Oh, I'm beat. That was incredible. So, I know, you did amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I made, I made it through. You survived. Do you know what? Everyone seemed like they were having such a good time. Yeah. And, and from all the women that I spoke to, they really sort of progressed and actually came away a lot more confident as well. Yeah, exactly. And we see that often, especially if we have groups just for women, uh, because they kind of support each other. You know, yeah. they help yeah. each other build and build that confidence. And uh, yeah, it's amazing to see. It is, it is. Right. For sort of all our female audience members mm -hmm. out there and anyone else who may want to watch, yeah. what's the best way that they could potentially get into this? Yeah, I would say like, Start easy. Uh, don't get pushed in by your boyfriend or husband right away that take you down the most gnarly trails. Like find Whoa. a friend that maybe wants to start riding with you or that just got into riding and uh, slowly build up. I would say that's the best tip. Slowly build it up and uh, really have fun. Try to have the fun because mountain biking is so fun. It is, right? And I, yes. there are actually lots of women groups out there. Like talk yes. women specific riding groups, aren't there? So exactly. with a bit of trawling around on the internet, you can find a lot of like-minded riders. Yeah, find the group to ride with, find find other females to ride with and you'll oh. uh, you'll progress and have a lot of fun. Wicked. Look, Annika, thanks for having me along today. It's been an absolute pleasure. From us here at Bentonville Bike Festival, we're gonna leave you to it. Thank you for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.